Hello everyone. Um, I'm Gavin Douglas and I'm a Midlands-based fashion designer. Um, I've been doing fashion design for a while now, so I'm here to talk about my own personal journey in how I became a fashion designer, um, what I've achieved to date, and also what I'm doing at the moment. So hopefully I'll be able to inspire any potential fashion designers that we have here today, um, and hopefully give you some advice and guidance as well within my talk. So who is Gavin Douglas? Um, I started out as a fashion designer. I went to Dartmouth High School, which is um, in Sandwell. I'm not sure if anyone knows it. It's turned into a, an academy now. Um, from then, I went to Sutton Coalfield College. Um, I did a BTEC National Diploma in, in Design. And it was then I really got my interest um, in fashion and when I really discovered that I liked fashion design. From going to... Um, Sutton Coalfield College, I went on to Northampton University and did a, green, I did a degree in fashion and textiles um, and it's there that my passion grew. I always saw myself as someone that was creative um, and liked designing. Um, I always stuck things together when I was younger and watched Blue Peter and stuck cardboard boxes together and sellotape things. So I, I always knew that um, my career would eventually take me into the path of something that was creative. Um, from uni leaving university, I um, entered a competition that was held in London. That was the Avant Garde Designer of the Year Award. I was fortunate enough to win that competition, which then led me to go into Caribbean Fashion Week, and that is held annually in Jamaica. Um, so I um, debuted my first collection there in, in Kingston, in Jamaica, and it was then that my um, own personal career started to take off. Um, from then, I continue with, continued with my label. I got assistance from the Prince's Trust in the form of a grant, help and advice and mentoring. Um, and then I entered another competition. This competition was called Fashion Fringe, and it's held um, in London every year. And the judge um, for this competition was Tom Ford, who currently now has his own label and was also um, the head of Gucci and is renowned for reforming the label Gucci. Um, there was also very, some other notary, um, well-known um, design, um, designers on the panel and also influential people with, within the fashion industry on the panel as well, such as Hil Hilary um, Alexander and Colin McDowell. Um, and that was a real kind of jump off point for my career um, in terms of launching me and putting me out there. Um, so that's a bit of background about myself, what I do and how I've come to be a fashion designer um, now. So the concepts behind my brand can vary. I get my inspiration from um, a lot of different places. It could be a song that I've heard, um, something that I read in the newspaper, and these all inspire what I do and, and how I create my designs. The design process that I use is, um, what I generally like to work with um, private clients. So what I'll do is, for example, work with someone who's come to me who's interested in having a Gavin Douglas garment made, and we'll go through ideas, um, work around silhouettes and shapes, choose fabrics together, and um, design the garment and go on from there. Um, I do really enjoy what I do, and I'm very passionate about what I do as well. The clientele that I work with varies. So I've, I've worked with um, various celebrities, um, as well as, well as um, socialites and generally people that enjoy fashion. So these are a few images of my work. Um, these were taken in Kingston, Jamaica, in downtown Kingston after one of the fashion shows held um, at, the, at Caribbean Fashion Week. Um, the first image is a bobble dress which has a New York City skyline graffiti print on it. This was done um, by Temper, who's also a, an artist and is based in Birmingham. Um, the second two images are a mixture of chiffon and silk satin, and they were also taken in, in, within the same vicinity as well. So a few of the ch achievements that I've done are Caribbean Fashion Week, which I've spoken to you about um, briefly, 
BET Rip the Runway. BET is an American-based channel that has um, several million viewers. Um, it's it's um, shown all over the world, and you can actually watch it here in the UK as well. So I was fortunate to work with Estelle, um, Nicki Minaj, and a lot of other celebrities for that show. I've also worked at, with the Oil, Royal Opera House, sorry, working with the young opera singers. So I created garments and designs for them to wear for one of their productions. Um, I've worked with um, the Nelson Mandela's Children's Fund. So um, working with um, that charity was good for me to kind of give something back and to help raise funds to go to younger and, you know, p children that were in need of funding. I've shown my work at the Br Black British Style Exhibition that was held um, at the v &A and also at the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. Um, I've shown my work at London Fashion Week for several seasons and that was um, on schedule in the tent at the Nat Natural History Museum. And I, o I also, I'm also a lecturer as well, so I've worked with Coventry University and I'm currently lecturing at Sandwell College as well. Uh, this is a fashion um, shoot that I did at the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. This was a collection that was inspired by water. So um, the concept behind this was the muse movement of water. And what I did was use a variety of different fabrics um, that moved in different ways. The first um, um, outfit, which is on your left, is a patent pewter leather bodice um, paired with trousers um, wide at the hips. Um, the second image is a full fitted bodice dress um, which has origami, boss cups, and also appliqued flowers um, on the silk organza skirt bottom. Um, the last one is a silk jersey dress that was um, draped by hand on the mannequin um, using a draping method. This was, the this was also the first fashion shoot to take place at the uh, Birmingham Museum and, and Art Gallery, which I was also very pleased with. Um, some of my other achievements as well, um, the Art Avant Garde Design A Year of the Award, which I spoke to you about earlier, fashion, the Fashion Fringe Award, the Originator Award, which is um, a Jamaican award that recognizes achievement, um, and the Master Designer Award, which is a Caribbean award. And this um, highlights um, designers that have um, it achieved um, you know, successfully within their careers. I also have a shoe line. Um, I generally work one-to-one -one, um, with private clients for this as well. Um, the shoes on the far left and the right, this is from a collection that was inspired by hip-hop fashion. Um, I was looking at casual um, sportswear. So I was looking at the style lines of casual trainers and thinking about how I could make that into a high-end shoe. So I used various different types of leathers to create create the shoe. These include um, fish skins, which is, can be seen on the black pair of shoes. So that's actually the skin of a fish. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can actually get leather from fish skins, um, but it's a beautiful texture and a beautiful finish as well. Um, the yellow pair, I've used snake skin on the platform and also on the heel. Um, the pair in the middle is a heelless shoe. Um, it's not an invi invisible heel, it actually has no heel, so it requires a lot of balance when walking. Um, and that, for that pair, I've also used fish skin as well, fish, which is a leather. Um, celebrities that I've worked with include Estelle. So this image on the left is from BET's Rip the Runway. Rip the Runway is um, it's like a fun type of catwalk show. Um, where it's m infused with music and dance. So rather than having a normal catwalk show with models walking up and down, you actually have um, celebrity singers that are singing along with the fashion while they're being walked down the catwalk. Um, I've worked with Kelly Rowland several times as well. So this is the album cover for not the last album that she did, but the previous one before that. So this is my design on the front. That's um, painted leather with Swarovski crystal beads. Um, so those were all hand sewn on the dress, which you know took a long time as well. 
um, the reality about the fashion industry. Is there anyone here that wants to be a fashion designer? Hopefully there's one. Okay, great stuff. So the reality, a lot of people always ask me, what does it take to be a fashion designer or how do you become a fashion designer? What do you do? So hopefully um, there'll be a question and answer session shortly. Um, so I'll be able to answer any questions that you have. Um, and I'll just talk you through my experiences, the difficulties and also the triumphs as well. So it's important to be prepared, make a plan, whether you're at school or college um, or university, think about where you want to be eventually. So if, it, if that's um, the head designer at a fashion house, think about how you're going to get there and try and make a plan on how you're going to achieve this. Fail to plan, plan to fail. So that's um, basically saying that if you don't plan, then it's easier for you to slip or not be directed in terms of how you want to move forward and achieve what you want to achieve. Um, educate yourself. So whether that's in terms of going to university or going to college or being at school, um, finding about, find out as much as you can about fashion design. Um, if you're not really academic in terms of going to university, etc., get as much work experience as you can. So work in retail shops or see if you can work with a local fashion designer. Um, persistence. Be very persistent in what you do. Um, don't think it's going to be something that's going to happen overnight. It does take a long time to get there and to achieve your goals. And there's no rush. Take your time. So reiterating what I just said, um, there is no rush in getting there. Take your time and try to do what you do properly and professionally as well. And those are my contact details for anyone that wants to get in touch. OK, any questions? I'm expecting a question from you at the front, <laughs> as you thought you had not. Um, We've got someone at the front. Would you advise someone to go through an apprenticeship route or to go to university? Um, that's a good question. I think that all depends on the individual, really. Apprenticeships are very good, and they're also encouraged at university as well. I think my, from my experience in going to university, it, um, it was just the start of a building block. So it gave me the skills that I needed in, to build on. So rather than um, going to university and thinking that I've learned everything I need to know, it was just like the foundation in order to move forward. And I think the apprenticeship will be a similar sort of thing. But obviously with the, uh, with the university, you get a credited qualification. But the good thing about um, apprenticeships is you get the experience, which is what a lot of designers are looking for now. Any more questions? Do you make your designs as well as design them, or do you just design them? I can um, make the designs, but I generally work with free freelance machinists and pattern cutters as well, who will make the patterns and then sew the garments as for me. I think there was a question at the back. Of, no. Did your plan include working with re really famous people? Working with? Really famous people. Um, it didn't, no. It was something that just happened. So at that time, I had a PR agency that was based in London, and they introduced me to those celebrities. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.